Thank you. Don't you always need money, Nora? What do you need it for this time? I have a function to attend later in today. What's it in aid of? And who's organizing it? Jeanette Azua, the Minister of Agriculture's daughter. She's having a birthday party. And that's the function? Yeah. I see. By the way, um... Have you seen Tyra lately? Mummy, you're asking for too much. Am I? Me, Nora, visit Tyra. <laughs> That's unlikely. You know it, and she knows it. We just don't gel. Nora, when do you think that you are going to bury this rift that's going on between you and Tyra? Because sooner, rather than later, she's going to be your sister-in-law. Do you understand? Mummy, I don't have any problem with her. I just can't stand her overbearing attitude. She's abrasive, she's arrogant. And when she opens the mouth, she has a scorpion sting. I see. So what are you trying to tell me? That I made a wrong choice when it comes to your brother? Oh, mommy, we are all entitled to our own opinion. Can I have the money? Can I please have the money? It's in the safe in the study. Thank you. Oh. Kay, darling. Hello. How are you? How's the weather? And, oh yes, we miss you tremendously. Mm-hmm. Yes, everybody's fine. Listen, Kay, by the way, um, there was this young woman who came looking for you. Oh, come off it, Kay. You really don't expect me to have asked her name. Um, she did say that she was the maid at King Prempress Palace. And she claims that you have made her pregnant. Is it true? What? Oh, don't be silly, Kay. You don't expect me to know where she is, do you? Uh, I, I sent her packing off immediately. I mean, I couldn't believe for one moment that you'd have anything to do with her. But why do I have to consult you? I was just seeking your best interest. I mean... Kay, I couldn't believe for one single moment that you'd have anything to do with that conniving young gold digger. Kay? Kay! Kay! Mommy. Oh, God. Mommy. What is it? Uh, What's um... trouble? I'm inclined to believe that your brother has done something very stupid. He might have made some young woman pregnant. <laughs> Wonderful. Don't be silly. 
Before you start celebrating, I would like you to find out exactly who she is. <laughs> Mommy, anybody would definitely be better than Tyra. Oh, I see. So, impregnating the king's maid is better than impregnating his daughter. Is that what you're trying to say? A maid in place of a princess? Nora. <laughs> Your brother and you will not bring disgrace to this family. Do you understand me? You say a maid in place of a princess? Mummy! <laughs> Are you listening to what I just said? You will not bring disgrace to this family. Not you, not your brother. Now get out. Mother, I got on the next flight the minute I got your message. Are you trying to tell me that you have abandoned your course to come down to Ghana to do what? Mother, I have a problem and I'm here to solve it. My studies can wait. Your studies can wait? Your studies can wait? So tell me something, Kay. What do you propose to do now? after you have gotten all of us involved in this, your disgraceful mess, after you have stooped so low as to lay with a common maid. Simply put, I'm going to find Mafia and take responsibility for the pregnancy because that child is mine. You have the audacity to stand before me, your mother, and claim responsibility for that pregnancy? Are you mad? or you're trying to be mad. Well, my son, I have got news for you. That girl will never, ever be your wife, as long as I am your mother. Do you understand? I absolutely forbid it. Mother, you know me well enough to know that I do not and will not succumb to threats. That girl, Kay, will never ever be your wife. Excuse me, mother. And where do you think you're going? To find Mafia. After her mother died and has not returned. About how long now? For a month now. Okay. Um, when she comes, can you please tell her Kay was here looking for her? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much.
Tell the prince to come before my royal presence. Tyra! What a surprise. I can see you look very angry. Nevertheless, I'm honored to invite you inside. I do not have the time to sit in your house. I therefore will go straight to the reason I came. Okay. I'm all ears. What's the meaning of this rubbish you've been putting up of late? Trust me. I have no idea of what you're talking about. You've been in Accra for a week now. And you haven't even bothered to call me or let me know you're back. I had to hear this from my father, who you refused to visit when you sneaked in and out of my kingdom. Why do I have this funny feeling? That I'm being washed? And do I have to explain my every move? You're damn right. You have to explain your every move. I'm your fiancé and I have the exclusive right to know. What did you go and do in my town when you knew I was in Accra? I demand an answer now. That's my business. My business. You know what? Your attitude is very unbearable and it disgusts me. What do you think? Your father's kingdom extends to my doorsteps? No, it doesn't. Therefore, you think you can control me? Tyra, if I wasn't trained not to ever hit a woman, in fact, I forbid you from today, stay away from me. You like eh? Not until you tell me what I want to know. I can smell a rat. I demand an answer now. You are the worst thing that has ever happened in my life. Kay, don't you dare walk out on me. I just did. For how long will I search for Kay? My pregnancy is developing by the days. And do what I'm proposing. Get rid of the pregnancy. But I'm afraid. I've heard a lot about DNC. I don't want to die. You will not die. Younger girls terminate seven to eight month pregnancy. How much more? Your three month pregnancy. Hmm? Anyway, don't worry. I'll handle that. Hmm?
so sorry for putting you through all of that. Very sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are you talking about? Who are you? Come on. I know you're angry with me. You're very angry. And you might not want to see me anymore. But just give me a chance to explain. Please, let me explain myself. I don't know you. I've never met you in my life before. And my name is not Mayfay. But if you care to know, my name is Ashley. Ashley Johnson. You're kidding me. You mean you're not Mayfay? I'm a Lugo Kingdom. Nope. I've never been to a Lugo, but I've heard so much about that kingdom. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sorry for all of, all of this, but you truly really, really look like somebody I have been looking for for the past months. Truly, you, you look like that. I'm sorry. It's okay. My name is Kay. Hospital. Sorry, doctor. Please, where is Joyce? Who is Joyce? My friend. She absconded, obviously, believing that you may die. You are a very lucky girl. Fortunately, the fetus wasn't affected. But you put yourself in very grave danger by drinking that dangerous concoction. But why on earth did you try to abort the pregnancy? What will a helpless orphan do? I got sweet-tongued by a man I thought loved me. I got used, dumped, and I'm now prowling the streets of Accra with a green reminder of my mistake. The pregnancy I'm carrying for him. At the expense of your own life. Obviously, that is not the right thing to do. I am an orphan, homeless, and I'm pregnant. Nothing can be right about it. It pains to be an orphan, having no parents, no siblings, no one to fight or care for you. I have become a refugee in my own father's land. Doctor, you don't want to know how it feels. Don't worry, my dear. Take your rest. I'll be speaking to you later. Now, the two of you were very upset and probably must have said things to each other that you really didn't mean to say. But still, there's no excuse for him to disrespect me the way he did. I know. I mean, 
I believe there's another woman behind all this. Another woman? Are you joking? You think if there was another woman, I, his mother, wouldn't have known about it? He's my son, you know. And I do believe I have some kind of influence over him. I mean, I'm confused. Oh. Kay is gradually slipping out of my hands. I'm losing him. <laughs> that can never happen, Tyra. Not as long as I am his mother. Now, I want you to stop crying. <laughs> huh? And cheer up. Would you like something to eat? I've had a wonderful meal prepared. What do you say? Oh, come on. Akosia! I'll have the maid bring us something to eat, okay? Stop crying. All you've had is just a little lover's quarrel, that's all. Who is she? She's an orphan who needs help and a place to lay her head. Please excuse me. Agnes. Agnes! Kurtzi demands that when a man brings in a visitor, he consults his wife first. How much more when he brings in a new inmate? I'm sorry, Agnes. I didn't know this would make you angry. Of course. Fools don't get angry. Do they? How would I know if she's an orphan? I mean, how would I know if she's not your daughter or was one of your several mistresses? I'm not going to defend myself. All I did was to offer help to a fellow human being. And I thought you would understand and support me. Coffee. Don't touch me. Sorry I overreacted. I'm sorry. Of course. Uh, it's your right. It's your right. Can she? My future husband? Who? 
You're not referring to me, are you? We were betrothed as wife and husband by our parents. And we grew up acknowledging that fact. You disgust me. Then why did you defile me and take away my precious pride of womanhood? Rubbish. Absolute nonsense. Come to think of it. Don't you think it is traditionally wrong for you not to honor the presence of a princess? Let alone the princess of your world. Not if that princess would not let me have my peace. And what other peace can be greater than sharing love with a woman of strength and fame? Oh. It's only a coward who considers the foolishness of life as pride. Because for me, love is raw. Not rude and proud. Love is caring. Not rich and arrogant. I don't see where you fit in. You don't deny the wish of the gods. The wishes of mortal the gods offer. And my wish the gods command. Get out of my face. I'm hating you. But I don't want to. Mephia! Yes, uncle. What are you doing again? I am washing mommy's clothes, uncle. Look, you must learn to take yourself off some of the stress. Don't forget you're pregnant. Yes, uncle. Yeah. This is 2.5 million. Take it. Buy yourself some new clothes. You've been wearing these for far too long. Thank you, sir. And don't forget to remind me about those antenatal drugs I promised you. Yes, uncle. So this is true. Because I've not been able to give Kofi a child, he goes to bring his mistress in disguise of an orphan, pretending to help Baras in the true sense of word. She is pregnant for him. Oh, Kofi. I never thought this day would ever come. He couldn't even wait for me to die first before he betrays me. Kofi, you had a shocker prepared for me. He brought her right under my nose. So it was a perfect plan. Since he likes secrets, I will help him keep it. What relationship do you have with my husband? Madam, I do not have any relationship with your husband. Come here. relationship do you have with my husband? I 
I swear by the gods, I do not have any intimate relationship with your husband. Now tell me, who is responsible for your pregnancy? All I've told you about myself is the truth. Mom. Who is your mommy? You don't remind me of my problems. I'm sorry, Ma. Since you're not ready to speak, I will fuse it out of you. I will let you know how I spent my teenage life on the streets of Accra. With no roof to lay my head. Surviving all by myself. I will not allow you to destroy all that I've told for all these years. Mavia, you are no match. Get out of my face. room littered in this manner? Mafia! Mafia! Welcome, ma. What's the meaning of this? My sitting room littered in this manner? I'm sorry, ma. I was washing the dirty dishes and cleaning the kitchen. Hands of my living room. What do you expect if a visitor should walk in now? Ma, I'm sorry. I'll get it clean right away. Break more than your face if you don't get up this minute and clean this place, idiot! I am going into my room. If I should come back and find my sitting room like this, you will curse the day your mother gave birth to you.
Mafia. Just, just ignore her. Let's go. Okay. Just move, keep moving. Where is she? She's the princess of Tokyo. This is too much to bear. What? If Kay wanted to cheat on me, couldn't he have taken somebody with class? Somebody with a good family background? But instead, he chose my maid. This is a nightmare. Tara, listen to me. You have got to try and calm down. Do you understand? Whatever it is that's upsetting you, we're going to get to the bottom of it. Today and now. I promise you. Take it at all. That's the imposter. My maid, that K turned into this. But you know what? You can wash a pig. You can powder a pig. You can put all the perfume in this world on a pig. It is still and will always remain a pig. A pig is a pig. Not even designer clothes can change that. Are you sure you know whom you're talking to? She's not who you think she is. Do I look stupid to both of you? Can't I recognize my maid when I see her? Mafia, have you become such a bloody liar? Wait a minute. Aren't you the same young woman who came here a few months ago? 
claiming that my son had impregnated you. And if I remember correctly, I also gave you some money to get rid of it, which from all indications, seems that you have done. I'm sorry, Ma. I'm not who you think I am. Oh, really? I'm Ashley Johnson, the daughter of Bennett Johnson of St. Paul's Hospital. I spent the last 15 years in Canada, and I just returned to the country when I met your son, Kay. Don't even think about it. If you dare put a finger on her, you will see the beast in me. Oh, so you're threatening me because of this thing? Now that's enough! If you have a problem, settle it with your friend. Don't involve me in the mess. Don't you dare mistake my meekness for weakness, okay? You now have the voice to talk back at me. There's a little saying. When the drum of death beats, only its next victim dances to its rhythm. Whew. Great speech. You can win an Oscar for that. Because you know why? I am so, so, so scared. Can't you see me shaking? You should be ashamed of yourself for not being able to keep a man to yourself. Okay? If you don't mind, take me out of here. Because the air is now poisoned with hatred. I'm sorry, Ma. Perhaps we meet on a favorable circumstance. Tyra, come and sit down. You, young lady. Come here. Why would you hit somebody else's daughter? Something you don't even do to me! And I will do it to you for the first time as well! Now, get her out of my house! Now! Get her out! Get up. Get up. You have stooped so low. You have forgotten where you come from, haven't you? Oh, by God's grace, I should say it was a very successful trip. What is this? You look so pale, maltreated, and a swollen face. Uncle, I'm fine. And everyone is very fine as well. Oh, my God. And in your pregnancy? No, this can't go on. Where is she? You're welcome, darling. This is unfair, Agnes. This is unfair. How can you put someone else's child through this inhuman treatment? What's the meaning of this? Did she tell you I'm more treated here? Doesn't your girl eat? Doesn't she feed in this house? Oh, stop being petty, Agnes. Stop! She didn't have to say anything. The marks of your wickedness are all over her face. You know, you know what baffles me most? For a woman who is praying to God for the fruit of her womb, you ought to be treating other people's children well. But no, you wouldn't. No. Agnes, you are making it difficult for God to listen and, and, and answer your prayers. Coffee. You remind me of my barrenness. No. You are wrong. Husband, I will prove to you that I'm not a barren woman. Even if it's the last thing I do before I die. In any case, I want this girl out of this house this very minute. It's 
either she leaves or I leave. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Even if you want to kill her, go ahead and kill her. I want you out of this house this very minute. Come on, out! Anywhere to go to. I bet you don't want me to repeat myself. Out! Mother, I have a huge responsibility ahead of me. I am the heir to my father's kingdom. And a good ruler is a humble person, not a proud one. I absolutely agree with you, my son. You're getting married before your coronation. And all the dignitaries that are coming will be expecting you to make certain pronouncements for everything to fall into place. I hope you understand exactly where I'm coming from. But mother, I want to marry the lady after my heart's desire. Will you be quiet about that? You're forgetting who you are and of your royal blood and of your late father's dying wish. Mother, I will not marry the princess. Not for anything in this world. And neither will you marry that maid. You will never, ever marry that maid. Royalty marries only royalty. And nothing below that. In case you've forgotten. I am going to marry her. And if marrying her will bring a curse to this family, then so be it. It seems to me that you are not understanding or hearing anything I'm saying. You will not marry that maid because it will only be over my dead body. Mother, watch what you say because I will marry her. We shall see. I am a princess.
When you're done with those royal flavorties, make sure you ask your maids to pack those trash off my floor. I forbid you from saying that. And who the hell are you to forbid me from making a speech? And how the hell did you even find my house? Small world, you know. What do you want? Where thunder and lightning strikes, birds don't fly. I hope you understand my little saying. Would you go straight to the point rather than beating around the bush? Let me come down to your level of understanding. Stay away from my prince. You are a fool. I see you choose to remain unreasonable. I therefore have no option but to deal with you my way. Would you get out of my face? Who the hell are you? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? How many royals have you seen patrolling the city with full regalia and entourage? Girl, your old-fashioned presence makes me sick. And when you're tired of staying, make sure you ask your maids to clean my premises. One more thing. Make sure you leave my premises clean. I don't have time for pickles. What a loser. Wacko. Mafia, let's play. Call me Ashley, please. Ashley. I will do that, madam. Thank you. Your Highness. Are you now? Have you noticed that my two feet have not touched the entrance to your house? The reason is because I do not want to bring a curse on you and your entire household. I came here to warn you to stay away from my son. 
You see, he's of royal blood. And we royals only marry royals. A prince marries a princess. And you are not of royal blood. So, he will not marry you, ever. And you'll have to forget about him. Why do you want to be used and abused? What for? When there's so many other men that you can marry. Anyway, how much do you want? Your Highness, I was made to understand that love is priceless. <laughs> and I can't accept any treasure in exchange for love. Oh, really? Not at any price? Anyway, my son will never, ever marry the likes of you. That's what I came here today to tell you. Forget about it. Because I forbid it. Okay? Goodbye. my once cheerful, energetic wife deteriorate. Are you the only wife who has not been able to give her husband a child? You won't understand. So let me understand, Agnes. We made a vow to each other on the altar of God. For better, for worse. Now you make me wonder if you understand the significance of that vow at all. Excuse me. I need to be left alone. Agnes! I want you to know that nothing breaks the heart and destroys life faster than betrayal from the one you love most. fall in love with you. But now the world has turned against us. No, Ashley. The world hasn't turned against us. But I do agree with you that every true love needs to go through some form of trial. It's true. Riches rule men. It can make a man betray his own blood. No, Ashley, don't talk like that. Please, don't make it sound the way you're trying to make it sound like. Don't. It's only fate that will determine our tomorrow. And I can promise you that for as long as the moon lightens up the night and the sun brightens the day, our love will never die. I love you. I love you too. Ken, I 
understand my wife has been visiting your hospital for some time now. Is there anything you think I should know? Kofi, please, I suggest you speak to your wife. You know the ethics of this job. Besides, even if she's your wife, I have to keep her records confidential. Please, speak to your wife. For how long we continue in this hide and seek affair? These challenges are more formidable than I ever imagined. For me, I think this will make the bone of our relationship even stronger. That's how I see it. Don't you think so? Come and give me a smile. I'm three weeks pregnant, I'm unmarried, and to cap it all, I'm involved in a very complicated relationship. How hard can that be? Why are you subjecting yourself to such unnecessary pressure? For what reason? I'm in love with you and that's all that matters. Leave love out of this. If you're serious about the future of this relationship, go sort out your problems first. I don't want to get caught in the crossfire. I want this pregnancy off. Ashley. What other assurance do you need? What other assurance do you want? There is nothing between the princess and I. I don't think she shares the same thought. She's still holding on to it. And then, of course, she enjoys her mother's unflinching support. It is not my mother's position to make that choice for me. It is mine and mine exclusively. Okay. Come to terms with your mother and family. Then we can talk about marriage and raising kids. As for this one, I want it out. I don't care how hard it takes you. End of story.
Now, this is a warning. Stay away from K. <laughs> <laughs> to be my husband has torn my heart apart. No, not by princess, not by custom, not by royalty. The lady you saw is not Mafia. I saw Mafia today and she is pregnant. What? Ashley as well. Pregnant for me. You've been pretty busy, my son, haven't you? Or you're going crazy. I'm Ashley Johnson. My name is Mafia. Uh huh. So later on during the day, I'm gonna take you so you can get your hair done, pedicure, manicure, you know, grass stuff. The vengeance of a woman is like a burning bush. It takes everything in its path, including the innocent. perfect time for us to discuss my son's um, wedding arrangements before he finishes his course. Uh, husband, I can prove to you that I'm not a barren woman. Even if it's... Bloody hot, niggas! Shit! Oh, <laughs> when should I start from? <laughs> Do you really fail if you did this to me? <laughs> you cheated with me. What? I should take the first line. Okay. No, I know where to start. I know where to start.